Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump in on the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Popular dish jockey mourns after losing three kids in a fire in West Milan. Silbas did not report to police station, but instead made another move. Dove Magnum responds to deportation rumors. Spice Emancipated first week album sales are out. Cargo exposed dancehall artists is rather to big up gunmen than decent youths. Dexter Dabs finally addressed female fans trying to sabotage his career. Police cons up an alleged gunman and his mother now demands justice. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a sad situation we're happening in Westmoreland. Some of you guys might have already heard about it where three kids actually get burned up in a fire. You understand what I mean? The father for the kids them is also a popular disc jockey and stuff like that. Is it my people? So the man put out a video and I'm telling the people if you're, if you're easy to get emotional, you might as well just run go for some tissue right about now. You understand? I might not even be able to play the full video because of how YouTube stay when time them hear people are crying and a breakdown and them thing. They them ten for one kind of like you know flag a video and them thing there but yeah, people, the man lose three youths at once. Yo, that's not easy, you know, people. It's hard enough to lose one, much less for you for lose three of them same time. So, um, in case you don't know what happened, it's like them did have a power outage and thing and things in. And I guess the youths, they must light a candle. And, you know, that's what me hear basically start the fire and stuff like that. You understand what I mean? say? Um, them sister also did get burned up, but you know, she is still alive and thing, so you know, we hope she make it through and stuff like that. You understand? So, let me get to the video now so you can hear what the father have to say, and you guys can tell more anything about this. Me also want to say some prayer for him. You see, people, watch this. Just nobody knows how to feel, just it because I'm a real star. Man, I'm Mrs. Star, I tell you. I say, all right. I have to hold on the ground now. I have to hold the foot. Because in my heart, brother, I never think one dull moment takes so my dear mother dead. I never think that yet. I always say, watch out, one day I'll see her again. I'm just a kid, you will not see her. she come back. Bro, I know. I'm going to try my best, man. I'm 
Mommy, please help me, mother. I'm a mother. Help me, Wally. God, no. Chacha, you hurt me, man. You know me, don't stop crying, man. You hurt me, man. God, no, you hurt me, man. I promise myself, Chacha. I will keep you them happy, I will keep them safe <laughs> until I find them, babe. Find them, find, find him, my dear mother. I know she's not dead, brother. She knows she might be in a situation where she can't come out yet. Shut up. So I miss some people that come post some loose arguments on Facebook. You don't know, brother. Yeah, my people, so like I say, it's a very sad situation and thing. I really hope the father get the strength to get over all of this. Hopefully, he get a whole heap of support. Whole heap of people reach out to him. Whole heap of people just show him whole heap of love. You know, if you know him, you understand me? I say, message him because him depend on IG. Show him some love and just make him know, say, yeah, pray for him. And you understand me? I say, at least it will help. And of course, prayers do work. Even though this situation here, it's a very deep one. It's not, it's not like the average thing. You see, my people, and like I say, I don't like I just one pitney and evil one would have been hard enough much less three of them anyway people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about silk bass and yesterday i actually do a video letting you guys know that yesterday 12 o'clock silk bass was to turn in himself to the police them zine people i think it was the saint catherine south police division him did for actually report too now silk bass did not turn in himself but instead, he actually made another move, which I actually read the article so I understand what move Silk Boss actually made. You understand, people? And I think this was definitely the right thing that the entertainer actually do. You see it? So anyway, this is what the story I say. Silk Boss fails to turn himself into cops, make alternative arrangements. Silk Boss did not turn himself to the St. Catherine South Police at the midday deadline on Monday. However, the mankind DJ contacted the cops to make alternative arrangements. He made contact with us and his lawyer also made the contact. The necessary arrangements have been made. Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commanding officer of the St. Catherine South Police, told Dancehall Mag, over the weekend, the Dancehall artist whose real name is Ron Reed have been asked to report to the Portmore Criminal Investigation Branch by midday on Monday. The St. Catherine South Police said that their investigators had taken note of video circulating on social media which showed Silk Boss being assaulted by mass men. The police also said that they were aware of certain documented events and a subsequent interview given by Silk Boss where he reportedly suggests that the perpetrators of the act were golf side in Gregory Park St. Catherine. In a recent days, in a recent interview with Winfrey Williams on on stage TV the DJ said he would speak to the police if they contacted him if them contact me yeah if them ask me a question me and them would talk but at the end of the day me now go to know police Silk Boss said during the interview Silk Boss is known for the singles Mankind Surgery and his most recent single Sorry which has racked up over 700,000 views since its release over the weekend so yes people you don't know I think that is the right move Silk Boss make for actually have him lawyer deal with it, you see my people, because you just can't take no chances and, you know, you never can tell what would have happened if him alone did go, you see my people, even though, you know, I feel like them just want details as to what exactly happened and thing and thing, you understand? Some people have said, silk boss, don't do it, don't turn in yourself and them thing there, and I'm pretty sure people who him know personally probably tell him not to do that as well, you understand? Because of course, you know, so some dancehall artists, <laughs> them don't really have the best of luck as it relates to the law and them thing there, so that's why the artists, them, we try for at least stay on the right side of the because sometimes you know, like for link up with certain people and them things. You understand me and some people? So and since we even go up on the topic here, Zane, we're gonna actually move on to the next topic now, which is cargo saying that and we're talking about big superstar cargo in you know, the people. You know him address like even the whole silver situation. And he must say, no for the artists them no. Them rather for big up like the man them we are boss it up. You understand the wrongdoers them than than for big up a youth, a hard working youth, and that is true. You understand? I have to agree with Cargo. So, I could jump right into this story right about now. So, it say, 
Cargo says dancehall artists prefer to big up G-men over decent youths. Now sellout artist Cargo has taken umbrage to the fact that many dancehall artists appear to take delight in bigging up G-men and never decent academically inclined youths or youngsters who are making a positive mark on society. Call a spade a spade, a granny say how you spread a bed, a same way you go lay down in a it. Yes, you never see no artist a big up no scholarship pitney yet. Big up any little boy we just pass for go a color bar. No, anytime artists big up anybody, a G men them a big up and M U R D E R A. Cargo said in an audio clip he shared on his Instagram page. According to Cargo, many artists surround themselves with entourages that are littered with miscreants and ought not to be surprised when these same elements turn upon them. 99% Center. Anytime you see an artist a role, a BG man them a have beside of them. Man we have 35 Duppy M U R D E R S committed a walk with wanted man. And you have to understand say bad man no loyal to nobody away from bad man. And bad man no loyal to nobody away from them done or them strap where them have tuck in a them waist or them ghosts where them make. I that them loyal to cargo reason. Yes, my have a barber friend. And where you think him do? Cut here. I have a tailor friend. And where you think him do? Make clothes. Me have a farmer friend. A grung him plant. So if artists are roll with a bag of bad man and a bag of G man, what you think said them ago do? Count strokes when him a get to him woman. Man who no wake up your man. Who no go on like the artist of God. Artist is just flesh and blood brother. You lead by example. You spread a bed. You lay in night and learn. Cargo comments came in the aftermath of recent revelation that entertainer Silk Boss was, you know, re-rated up to him by a group of ruffians whom he said were his trusted friends whom he, whom he had even allowed to appear in some of his music videos. Silk Boss had also said that the men had also taken $1.4 million from him and stuff like that. You see my people? So that's how Cargo officer said. That's not the full article as well. If you don't want to read the full article, you can go check it out on Dance Almag. But... Um, basically, I agree with what Kaga say. When which which dancehall artist you ever hear say oh, big up to the youth them who just pass them exam for God Calabar or big up to the hard working citizens them. I mean you have artists who say yes, nothing wrong with nine to five and them thing there, but what about big them up in a song and them thing there? You don't really see that. You understand me I say and a true Kaga talk, even though enough people probably have a burn out Kaga and say this and that. Well not enough people, but some artists would have feel offended and you know try to say Kaga this and that. But I true him talk people. Talk the truth. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about what Kaga is saying, if you don't agree or not, in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice Emancipated album first week sales. Me know what I want to suppose to want know how much that the album sell and stuff like that. So me there for going to that information there. You understand me say people? So me could jump in it right away. Spice's Emancipated first week album sales are in. Queen of Dancehall Spice sophomore album Emancipated may make its debut on the Billboard Reggae album chart when it is released tomorrow, September the seventh. The chart is delayed by one day due to the Labor Day holiday in the U.S. Emancipated, which was independently released on August 26, 2022, under Stealth Music slash Spice Official ENT, has sold 1,500 total units of consumption from sales and streaming in the United States in its first week of release. The nine-track album total first week consumption includes 700 copies in pure album sales and 1,100,000 from audio and video streams in the US according to data provided to Dance Almag from Billboard sales tracker Luminate. Emancipated had a slightly stronger opening week than Spice's Grammy nominated debut 10 which had peaked at number 6 on the Billboard chart last year. 10 released via VP Records had sold 1,447 total units of consumption from sales and streaming in the US according to Luminate. Emancipation is being distributed by United Masters 
The track tape measure and clap clap both received video treatment when asked what she wanted to achieve with the album. Spicer told Dan Salmag in an interview that she hoped for her to take her places she's never been. When I say that, I've been to a lot of places throughout this universe, but I'm trying to see if I can take me to a new market, a new level, new growth. She said, it's all about new, new for me. So that's what I'm hoping for this album to take me to a place that I've never been. Unlike 10, the album featured no collaborations. I personally feel like I'm celebrating me, so I wanted it to, to be about me, Spice had explained. So yes, people, I'm not going to read the full article. You can go check out Dancehall Mag, but it's weird how this album, Muda says like a sudden album in a way, um, 10 get more promotion, but this album sell more. How that, people? Remember, go down there with um, Sean Paul and Shaggy. Make Spice get a whole pop interviews and a whole pop this and that. You understand? So how this end up sell more? But I don't know, people. I want to see what I go on. Even though it's not like we are more it sell, it's still kind of in the same region and stuff like that. But I don't go on as it relates to Spice. You see me? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about an alleged G-man who got conned up by the police. Them. Yes, what man said, people. And basically, his mother is speaking out now. And his mother actually want to probe into what exactly happened. You understand what I said, people? So, I get into the story. Enough people say, boy. Well, not enough people. But of course, you know, some mothers, them are going to defend them son. Even if them son are wrongdoers. I'm not saying that's the case. You know, but you know, say that go enough time, right? Anyway, so it's a... Uh, a peer H E A D S H O T him get mom demands probe after cops take her son. Kerry Phillips was a shadow of herself during sips of hot beverage on Saturday, mere hours after the controversial conning of her 26 year old son by the officers in an alleged early morning shootout. The incident occurred around 6 a.m. in the farming community of Fern Hill Unity in Lawrence Tavern. Philip, a farmer who regularly depended on her son, Michael Kane, a taxi operator, to do the heavy lifting and feeding of her livestock, is demanding answers, saying that she will stop at nothing in pursuit of justice. Kane's family believed the incident stemmed from a certain incident that happened a few weeks ago involving men known to her son. She told the gleaner that a cop involved in the conning is a relative of one of the men them whom did involve or allegedly involved in the situation with. That claim have been confirmed by a his source, but calls to divisional commander, senior superintendent Aaron Fletcher have gone unanswered. Phillips left the cell in the market Saturday and reportedly gave Kane $9,000 to buy feed for her animals. While unpacking her produce downtown, she got a call from her daughter that the police can up her son while he was reportedly under the bonnet of his car. She claimed that he was getting the car ready to go and purchase the feed before he began his taxi rounds. Ma sick and so me say me I go work today Saturday and use the money carry me go doctor Monday the last thing he said to me galang your bed cause you awake 4 o'clock a morning Philip said crying she said Kane was known to all the officers in the area because of the nature of his work and the taxi stand which is nearby the Lawrence Tavern police station a peer H-E-A-D can in him get me run from down a town and reach a public hospital and look in at the jeep me say on the take out my son the whole time you know him H-E-A-D back mash up just H-E-A-D alone from back way no fierce scanning my son no get the independent commission of investigation visited the scene and has launched a probe a report has also been made to the inspectorate and professional standards oversight bureau Philip is especially aggravated because of the single-handed sacrifice she made in raising Cain, in raising Cain and his siblings. Me not no father for him, and me take care of him and the five pitney them without father. And me work the hardest for my pitney them. Me walk and buy people load all about a bush just for make my children them comfortable, Philip said. Um, residents in the community have said that Canning rates were rare in that community. They too are demanding a probe. You yes, see it, people. So, I don't know. Something about that story I just saw now. We, you understand? But according, according to the officers, them, you know, for them side of the story is that, you know, and a shootout go on. I tell you no. That's the way the man never says me. So, obviously, our son would have allegedly pulled out something and 
bust it upon them. But I know people, that story are just so-and-so. It's something just not so right to me. So, you know, I think it definitely deserves a probe into all of this. Something just so odd. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dovey Magnum, who is addressing some news who are circulated on social media that she actually got deported back to Jamaica. And obviously, that's because she was spotted in Jamaica recently and stuff like that. So let me get into this story and only can tell more anything, is it me? So it said, Dovey Magnum addressed rumors that she was deported back to Jamaica. Dancehall artist Dovey Magnum is in Jamaica working on new music with various producers. The ball out singer who has resided in the US for a number of years returned to the island on September the 1st and has been locked in the lab cooking up a number of new singles. However, Dovey's arrival triggered rumors that she had been deported. I had to come to Jamaica to tap in into the energy of the place. I have no problems with this immigration. My lawyer has everything covered, Dovey said. Magnum previously had an immigration issue in May 2021 when she was detained briefly at a U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement Detention Facility in Atlanta, Georgia. The detention resulted in her missing a couple of bookings, but she was released a week later and has lived in the U.S. ever since. Tamika Reynolds of Artist Management and Booking Agency Free People Entertainment also confirmed that the singer currently has no immigration issue. We advise her to come to Jamaica because she is a creative hurricane and she needs an outlet now to hot up the local market with a barrage of songs. She has a lot of things to say and we're going to unleash her now. We're going to show them what we do with her. Miss Renal said, Dovey Magnum has an energy that cannot be contained and now she has a whole team around her. She is already confirmed for Sting. Everybody watch out. You see my people, so Dovey Magnum does a clear the ear as it is, you know, related to that rumor and stuff like that. Because, of course, like them say, she did have some immigration problem and stuff like that. And for you, they are Jamaican now. It's going to make people wonder if I really deported, they get deported. But we're going to see if I choose she attack and, you know, if whatever, whatever, a fake news and all them things there, it will come out. You see me? I just hope say, that is not the case with Dovey Magnum still. You see it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dexter Daps basically speaking out against like fake fans, you know, trying to mash up him good, good name and thing. You see it, people? So I could get into the story. And of course, before I read the article, I know said the other day, like about what, two weeks ago, a woman tried to put jazz over Dexter Daps head and all them type of thing. There. And then we see our next photo with him with somebody where them say our oh, man were just like a woman. We don't know them type of people. So I could get into the story, Zin. So it's a Dexter Dapp's address fake fans trying to tarnish his name. Career. A week after a woman attempted to, to put a jazz on Dexter Dapp's head during his performance in the Cayman Island, Dexter Dapp's has addressed the issue of fake fans trying to tarnish his name and his career by using sordid onstage antics. During a performance in Bridgeport, Connecticut, the Call Me If artist passed the address his detractors. Something he admitted was and characteristics of him and usually he would let it pass in making it clear that he was only interested in women the sea view guides native also implicitly addressed the furor which unfolded several months ago after it so it was widely rumored that a woman on whom he did certain things on stage at a concert was a trans and the accusation which later turned out to be false may not want to say too much cause the vibes right and we know I mess up the vibes, right? Pre this, me see some people have follow me from what day. Me just want tell you how I feel about it, right? So, I want to say it. You see me? Me is a youth. We never try for this, my fans them. But some people are not fans. Them come here for disrespect way. There is no fan of mine. We are going to do some things when we see some people I try. Me know what is a fan, Dexter declared. Me know what is a fan. Me know want nobody try to trick me and come pretend certain way for come try style my career and try put certain things by my name. The world know me and who me is, right? So me don't want them try style my thing because me don't want to revert to this thing nobody will come for this me. And music me come for though and me don't want to get wild because you don't know me head sick, don't it? And me no one get wild, he emphasized to cheer from his mainly female audience. He continued, so me I beg on a please. The people them will feel like them come for this, me just stay quiet. Let the fans them enjoy me show them. Cause me no one do nothing crazy, you know. Everybody knows I represent for the woman them. 
and them fat VV. <laughs> And when I try to do my G, he said, turning to his DJ, how oh, them fear try to go around my thing, so them no know say a woman my thing there. He added as he said good into his hit, bring it to the owner. Two weeks ago, during the Cayman show, a woman had scrambled on stage, tap him on the shoulder and then try to plant a yellow jazz on his head. However, the Calabar High School old boy had subverted the situation and the woman was taken off stage by personnel. By security personnel. The Cayman incident though was not the first time in which jaws were thrown at the Calabar High School old boy as in July 2019 in Antigua in the midst of a performance of his no underwear hit song a huge purple jaws was hurled onto the stage missing his head by inches before falling to the ground. Yeah see my people so that I go on. Um, big up yourself Dexadaps. Me can't blame the artist for really just address that. I want to know say Dexadaps. Mora say he's not a controversial person even though these things kind of happen to him, but I know him cause it because if women love you, I want to try the certain things, even though we don't rate them things there, you see me? I feel like so the fans them need to know themselves as well. Not because you don't love the artist and you don't try, you know, freak out the man on stage and them things there. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.